Green Link Nevada is a transmission and renewable initiative that we think is going to transform Nevada's energy landscape for the decades to come. So the Green Link Transmission Initiative involves five different transmission lines. One of the lines, which we're calling Green Link North, will run from the Ely area to the Yarrington area. So it will start at a new Fort Churchill substation in the Yarrington area and run out to the Robinson substation in Ely. It'll be about 235 miles long and a 525 kV voltage. Uh, then the, another large segment will go from, again, the Yarrington area in northern Nevada to Harry Allen substation in Las Vegas, so a second inner tie between northern and southern Nevada. Um, that line will be about 350 miles long, and it will also be 525 kV. Um, then we've got some 345 kV lines. Um, and this is basically just going to pick up all that bulk energy from the larger 525 kV lines and, and from Yarrington bring those into our growing Reno area load pockets to deliver the energy that we, that we deliver from the large lines. The, the transmission initiative was very carefully planned with the idea that it, it will run through some very rich renewable energy zones into areas where we can tap into and give access to renewable development that doesn't currently have access to our grid. If we get approval, as soon as we get that approval, we would begin development of the lines. We plan to have everything in service. Um, we'll put it in service in phases. It's a lot, it's a lot of investment. Uh, we'll have it in phases, and it'll go in service between 2026 and 2031. We're building Green Lake in Nevada for several reasons. Uh, the first primary reason is Northern Nevada is using all of its transmission capacity right now to serve NV Energy's retail customers as well as NV Energy's wholesale transmission customers. So, you know, in simplest terms, we got to build more highways or widen the highways into Northern Nevada so that we can get energy in. And this transmission is really just going to open up Nevada to more energy um, to support economic development and, um, and, 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 and give us more choices of energy, which is going to provide lower stable prices for our customers into the future. And finally, um, this will allow NV Energy to really help the state achieve its carbon emissions reduction goals um, by you might ask, how, how, does, how is the transmission going to reduce carbon emissions? Well, this, this is going to position us to eastern states that are uh, rich in uh, wind resources. And that's very complementary to Nevada's abundant solar resources. And another benefit, uh, side benefit, icing on the cake, is this, this project is going to bring thousands of jobs to Nevada. Um, you know, not only jobs to construct the line and operate it over the years, but the growth that it brings and allows in our communities um, it is going gonna, is gonna to provide more jobs into the future. And I can't think of a time where, you know, Nevada's really needed that economic, that economic fuel more than we do now.